Hi guys and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about the arm action in the backswing and a little bit in the downswing too. So I'm going to talk to you about how the arm is going to work in the pronation terms. So basically this is supination, this is pronation in pronation terms in the kind of upper backswing and start of the downswing. And to help me with this, I'm using just a sweatband and a TPEG just to give a visual guide to what's going on. And there's a couple of things we have to be clear about when we're doing it to make this work properly. So let's try and show you what I mean. So what I often see in the backswing and even in my own golf swing, I see my lead arm not work quite as I want to. And it tends to, for me, not pronate enough. And I tend to get this golf club into this cross line shape. And I'm exaggerating this a little bit. You'll see this TPEG here points pretty horizontal away. What I want to see in an ideal world is this TPEG point more up to the sky. So I want to see the arm rotate more into this fashion here to allow this club to kind of point on plane more in terms of my golf swing and other people's golf swings. And especially kind of to get you to feel this kind of laid off look. Now people who cross line love to have the laid off look and vice versa people who lay off probably love to have the cross line looked. What I'm trying to get from this is a way of getting the club and arms in the correct position whether you want to be moving away from laid off or moving away from cross line. This is to get your arms working correctly. And particularly in the downswing, this will allow you to shallow that club correctly with a nice visual aid, as long as we combine it with other things also. So what I'm looking for then is the lead arm to pronate in the top of the backswing, pronate in the transition and start a downswing to allow that club to shallow and be on plane throughout its journey. The caveat to it is we have to try and stay in posture. So for example, if I take my set up here, pronate my arm, but stand up out the golf ball, all of a sudden that is not going to be in the correct shape we want. And yet I pronated my arm beautifully. This T-peg moved up to the sky beautifully, just like I'm describing. Now, if I'm able to stay in posture and get that shape, you will see now it relies a little bit more on more flexibility. But you'll see now how my arm shape, wrist shape and everything gets the golf club, certainly in my terms, more laid off, which is exactly what I'd want to feel in my golf swing. But it gives me that action. Then in the downswing, if I maintain again this posture and get this arm pronating and the wrist flexing, you'll see how I shallow the shaft and get that central mass working behind me beautifully. So again, this T-peg is kind of going from this slightly to the sky, try and maintain or even increase its relationship to the sky as we would start down. Then obviously it's going to rotate and release and point more towards the floor as we release through the shot. So that's quite simply the visual we're looking for in this drill. One of the ways of feeling it, which is quite good, even with the T-peg in, is put your trail hand on your lead forearm, make a backswing, and allow it to aid the rotation and pronation of your arm in the backswing while you try and maintain your forward inclination. And then increase it on the way down, and then turn onto the golf ball. So those would be the feels. And again, physically, I can feel that quite a lot through my left arm. My left arm is certainly working more than it would do normally. And again, my golf swing, as I said, crosses line. So I definitely want more of this action in my golf swing. So this would be an ideal drill for me to do as a person, as well as describe to you guys. Let's try and hit a shot, going slowly, to see if I can feel that in my golf swing. Okay, so I'm just going to rehearse it first. Again, half me to stay in that forward inclination, kind of flexibility, but we'll try. Let's try another one. So pretty hard to make really good contact when I'm really focusing on how the arm's working. But again, the idea of all the drills that I would prescribe or give to people would be that we work on them to change our natural pattern ever so slightly. And then from there, we'd go back to natural swings. So that might become a practice swing on the golf course, and then we go ahead and freewheel with a natural swing. <clears throat> so this video has been all about this lead arm pronation using a T-peg and a sweatband to help us see the visuals of how that changes and affects the swing. 
Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please click like down below. It really helps my channel grow. Really appreciate that. Also, chat. Tell me what kind of videos you want to hear from me in the future. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can with a video that you know is really appropriate for you in that case. Also, subscribe if you haven't. I post three videos a week, and it's all for free. Click the notifications button to make sure you get all the latest releases, and I hope you can join me in my journey then with this channel as it grows. Thanks for watching. See you again here soon. Happy golfing.